Broadcasting live and direct from the Poe Production Studios, it's your boy Poe Pro, and we are continuing with our playthrough of The Quarry. This is part two of our playthrough, and so far we made some very fun choices, and possibly may have gotten some people killed. So we're going to try to like stack up the body count as high as humanly possible. We're going to get this ugly woman's face off my screen right now. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Cynical. They'll get over it. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma. Ooh, low, that's low. not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad mood. Oh. <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never gonna see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jeez, couldn't you hear that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> Okay, this is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be the lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. All right. Hey, CC, what's up? All right, so now I get to control Jacob, and we're going to make some choices that I would make in this game. Hey, this is Emma's. What path did I choose? The path of grabbing her jewelry and putting it on? Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, Simon. Mirasami, I don't believe uh, Sweet Seas is going to know the reference to salute your shorts. That is absolutely before her time. In fact, she wasn't even born yet when that show was out. Actually, before I go in there, let me see if I can head down this way. Now, I could purposely play this game and miss every tarot card. Oh, hey there, buddy. <clears throat> hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? <laughs> That's like me and my iPod. It's like, I don't want to talk to people, so it's like, yep, sure, okay. Exactly. We talk to this chick again, see if she gets mad at me for not bringing in the bags. Jake, bags, focus. <sighs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. <sighs> mm. 
Jacob go upstairs, Jacob get bag. Caitlin moves on with their goddamn life. So we're not gonna grab the bags yet. I wanna explore. Are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's. I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come on. With this thing, it's just. Dylan, crazy. please. Oh, cool. Thanks, guys. All right, before I hit the door again, we're gonna just explore, taking the sights and sounds of the quarry. Shit's bolted it? Really? Back its quarry, summer camp was established way back in 1953 and it's still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. Isn't there like another spot here? Yeah, right there. Let's say I thought I saw that. Man. Would want to leave a place like this. It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Bob Ross, baby. Look at all those happy little trees. So, more breaking and entering. Ugh, horror. I hate horror. going to grab the bags. We're going to explore a bit. There's the door I think they locked. There's a bear. Is that a doorway? What is that? It's just a, a black thing on the wall. Okay. Right, we're not going to talk to people right now. We're going to be antisocial. In this incredibly dark hallway. I don't know why the lighting is so dark in this game. You know what? We're going to cheat again. We're actually going to make the settings even brighter. I know this is kind of cheating a little bit, but... Yeah. It's still really dark there, so I don't care how bright the settings are. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. This place is really pretty. I'm not going to talk to my dude on the stairs here. I don't want to trigger any events. I think it might trigger the next event. That's why we're going to explore a little bit. And this place is a serious overhaul. That 
door? No, we cannot. Alright, this might be the bag here, so we're not going to grab that. That I think that's her bag. No, Papa's got a brand new bag. Not going to go there yet. And there's a tarot card, which I forgot that in the first chapter. So tarot card, temperance. Temperance, to be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess. Temperance, take it or leave it. But remember sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. Now the card we missed was the fool, which honestly is me. A bad place to get stuck. Hmm. Foreshadowing. Really, I can't go in there. Well, something there anyway. Inside the place, so what do you do? Her bag is right there. We're not gonna grab that yet. We're gonna go talk to her buddy. Yeah, this is the office, so let's go talk to my dude by the stairs and then we'll grab the bag. So, this game is a little bit slower paced, taking the sights a little bit. Enjoy the atmosphere, get to know the characters a little bit. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, you can help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, no more. Oh! Boring! <sighs> now this girl, Caitlin, has to be the most patient human being on Earth. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Defensive. Mind your own business. Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. Well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. I, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now, she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Uninterested or amused? Um, I'll let you guys pick this one. I could just be a jerk and say I'm not interested, or I could maybe play into her banter a little bit. So I'll let you guys pick this one. Amused? Alright, we'll go with Amused. Oh, should we test that theory? But I gotta save some for the ride home. Oh no, I'm, I'm sure you'll find some way to fill the awkward. Silence. <laughs> yep, gonna be a super fun, not at all awkward ride. Thanks for that, bud. Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's... 
a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. So she really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans and um, I have my plans and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try like long distance or whatever? Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> Defeated? Maybe I like it. Or brave. It's just a fling. I'm gonna be defeated. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the, um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Encouraging sees the moment or confident. I'll be encouraging. Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> Well, can't seize a moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. I'm not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. It'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. You're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. All right, so we could break the fuel line or steal the rotor arm. We're going to break the fuel line. Oh, this looks important. here my dudes why did they look like they're up to something hey jacob what no dude please D -d 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 oh dick er. <sighs> oh, come on man i'm so sorry jacob rough hey maybe uh you should have put it in airplane mode <laughs> <sighs> I missed that on purpose. <sighs> Shit. What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh, not a peep. Either got zero signal, or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. 50, you know what, 50. whatever, I can go one more day without a phone. Day. The drive's not that far. You know what I mean. Where is everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? I don't know. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky wounds. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior.
Abigail. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Ugh. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. We are going to totally break in and get our bags. They cannot wait. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's going to find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Aw, this was little Izzy's. anything else in here. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Yeah, I, I cannot sleep in like any bed. Why would this place be in the news? All right, so let's see what this says. A scrap from a local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette, doesn't look recent. Something about a fire, was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Freak show goes up in flames. I think that's it for here, so a couple clues in here. And let's not close the door. Let's leave it open because that's normal. I think, wasn't there more stuff around here? I don't know, let's just walk around. We'll get used to our surroundings a little bit. Not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Okay, so that's the radio tower. <laughs> There's a crow right there. That's a little creepy. I don't like crows. Hey! You stop! <laughs>
No, I'm just incredibly picky about like the types of beds I sleep in. I mean, my particular mattress is Tempur-Pedic. I love it. Um, the only other like, even when I'm like in a like a hotel or something, it takes me a while to like really get comfortable to sleep. I'll do it eventually, but. Dylan is not gonna be happy that the ghost was like this year. A recording of the Hackett's Quarry song from years gone by. Technology has moved on, but the song remains unchanged. I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. I don't think I can get into any of the cabins, so. Yeah, we're not gonna try, we're not gonna check every single cabin, but I just wanna look around outside, make sure I don't miss anything. Walk by each one, see if we see anything. Maybe the pool's over here, I think. Jess or whoever the girl is there, I forget her name. She's over there. Can we go get in the pool? Can we get there yet or not yet? I guess not yet. Maybe we could, maybe I just gotta go in here. This is a very pretty game, though. Yeah, we can't get in the pool. Check and see if we got some more clues over here. signpost. Though this is a novelty signpost, it also acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett's Quarry really is a long way from anywhere. It's not the nicest way to describe that random joke of a sign, but okay. Tutorial ev uh, unlocked evidence. So let's see what the evidence says. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Alright, I'm gonna check the other one too. Quick time events. I might have skipped that one. Oh no, Take I, a I did this to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. So what you see here are quick already, time events, so or QTPs, it's not letting me which get will out help it. you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's quarry can be a dangerous place. It's a little place weird because it, had, it was marked down with the uh, exclamation point, making me feel that maybe Take I didn't do it. Take the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. Empty vial. An empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Ugh. Ew, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Just gonna check the remaining cabins, just see if there's anything nearby. 
I don't believe so. But I am going to try my best to make every character a bumbling idiot. So let's go find Emma over here. Actually, hold on, what's this over here? Is this anything I can interact with? Oh, we got a clue. Oh, this is the scoreboard thing. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Oh, sorry, that like red bush or whatever just looked a little bit like it was popping out. Let's head out of here. Ready to roll? Yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Finally. All right, we're gonna drive like a moron. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? We are going to go the scenic route. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Sarcastic, how could they live without you? Supportive, I believe you. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be like really happy you're back. My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably... Yeah, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same.
Hey, now we're gonna play as Dylan. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Ugh. Nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Protective, mind your own business, or friendly, is it about me? I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Haga Packets Quarry. Yes. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Defensive. Better than yours. Oh yeah, you got a cooler one? Oh no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude, I think it just, it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man, this shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, 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 I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know... I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to 
have uh, some tunes for the road. No can do. Understanding that worries are annoyed, not fair. No fair. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey dude, man. I'm like the chillest flippin' bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I'll meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, 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 it's, uh, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? We're gonna eavesdrop. They're almost out of here, all right? You're gonna get pretty close. We don't wanna have- Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Of course, adios. <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. I mean, I heard. I, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on. It's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? Looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Is everything okay? You're frustrated. This is more, this is important to me. We're gonna be frustrated. This is just important to me. You know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful summer camp. I'm still trying to make up for the losses from last year. Uh. Terrified kids are bad for business. Phone calls I get from scandalized parents. Nightmares, thumb sucking, bed wetting. Think about that the next time you're flipping some yarn about the, uh, the. The, the Hagger Hackett's. Just think next time, champ. Use the old skull muscle. Apologetic or indifferent? <laughs> or we're gonna be indifferent. <laughs> it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey. There's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Inquisitive or understanding. We're going to be inquisitive. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. 
good goddamn are they? Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, dude. I'm Everybody back! Now, now, now! <clears throat> Jacob, wait! Wait, wait, wait! I got this. <clears throat> ah, Chief, dude, I was trying to help. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Ron, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Uncertain. Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! He easily could have fit everyone in this car. So... 
What was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Curious. What are you talking about? Or insistent. We follow Chris's instructions. We're going to be curious. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett. No screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. Em, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, man. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? She has a good point. Apprehensive, he did seem freaked out or supportive. He was just concerned for us. Um, it would be apprehensive. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Defensive. Someone's got to give a shit or whatever, man. Uh, I'll let you guys pick this one. Should we be defensive or should we be dismissive? I might be defensive. Let the uh, conversation keep going. Alright, let's be defensive. I'm assuming defensive. Alright, we'll go with defensive. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told no. me. <sighs> Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Totally normal to be looking through a sniper scope. I was hoping you'd come back to me. That 
Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you. If you like. <laughs> Show me, baby. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Alright, so I think this is a good time to uh, end this episode, so... To my streamers stay on but to my youtubers this is your boy uh and to my youtubers stay tuned for part three this is your boy poe pro signing out peace love and happiness wisdom knowledge supreme poe pro blesses you all one